नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशन एंड सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एंसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी एटीन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मास हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इज स्लाइडिंग अंडर ग्रेविटी फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी ऑन अ फ्रिक्शन लेस स्लाइड फ्रॉम अ हाइट ऑफ फाइव मीटर्स एज शोन इन द फिगर सो दिस इज ए द ऑब्जेक्ट विल स्लाइड डाउन along a frictionless surface and reach b after what distance will the object stop on the following track beyond point b if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the flat track and the object is 0.5 okay so this surface is given us as is given to us as smooth and this is rough right so the object will slow down but it will not lose any energy from a to b right and because the object is not going to lose any energy from it to b we can apply energy conservation there so we can directly actually calculate the speed at b mass is not going to play any role here right so that speed at b vb will be under root 2gh so we may approximate uh, gs10 now and if we approximate gs10 then height is 5 so this will be 10 meters per second okay now they are saying what distance will the object travel before it uh, stops okay so what is the deceleration here the deceleration okay the deceleration of the object will be mu k times g right because if you draw the free body diagram of the body traveling on that flat surface uh so this will be its velocity weight acts downwards weight acts downwards normal reaction will act upwards and friction will act in this direction so that's mu n right and friction upon uh, mass that's a deceleration but what is n n is mg so it's mu mg by m or effectively mu g okay so that's mu kg uh, mu k is oh mu k is 0.5 that's a very large value 0.5 into g again 10 we have approximated it so that will be 5 a meter per second square now the formula is simple u v square is equal to u square plus 2 as because acceleration is constant it is a uniformly accelerated motion final speed 0 initial speed 10 10 squared is 100 plus 2 a okay so now in this case a is negative right so negative 2 A is zero point five into ten into s. S is what we want. Okay, s is what we want. So s is equal to hundred upon ten into one. So that's ten meters. Option C. Now I think even if we had not approximated g, it would not have made any difference. okay if we had kept g right here in the expression for u squared okay let me just show you how that would have gone so uh, it would have been 0 equal to uh, 2gh minus 2 mu k g into s right so what would s have been s would have been then equal to 2gh divided by 2 mu k g, right? 2 2 goes, uh, g also goes. So what remains is h upon mu k. What is h? 5. What is mu k? 0.5. So s must be 10, right? So yeah, that's 10 meters. Option 